Welcome to Lyon. It's France's third largest city. At the end of May, I had a chance to take a day trip from Geneva to Lyon. It was a beautiful train trip. Through the mesmerizing mountains and lakes, we arrived at Lyon Partio station. Well, first thing first, we headed to have breakfast at L'Avocat Cafe. It's owned by nutrition therapist Fatma Labed and she created a great, fulfilling menu. After the delicious breakfast, we crossed the Rhone River through the Pont Morand and headed to the art museum. Although Lyon is not a top tourist destination in France, if you love history and beautiful architecture, it should be on your list. Here we have arrived at the Bartholde Fountain. It was designed by the same sculpture that built the Statue of Liberty. Bartholde has won a competition for a fountain design in Bardo city, but the city did not proceed with the project. Only after his fame with the Statue of Liberty, the mayor of Bordeaux reached him and asked him to build the fountain. The final sculpture ended up being too expensive and sold to Lyon. The female rider represents France and the four horses are the four main rivers of France. Right across the fountain locates the Museum of Fine Arts. The building was built in the 18th century and turned into a museum in the early 20th century. The entrance costs 8 euros for adults and 4 euros if you are younger than 26. You can observe many arts from sculptures to paintings to archaeological findings from all around the world. One of my favorite sculptures was the first funeral by Louis Ernest Barrios showing Adam and Eve grieving for their son Abel who was killed by his brother Cain out of envy. The second one that got my attention was a sculpture that described how Perseus killed Medusa by approaching her behind during her sleep. In the painting area, do not miss out the paintings of Monet, especially the painting of the Times River. Lyon is famous for its frescoes and murals. So, we are going to fresco hunt. We went to Leonis Fresco located in Rue de la Martiniere. Here you can see 30 famous men and women of Lyon who left a place in history from the Roman Emperor to Saint Exupery, the writer of The Little Prince. You can also find The Little Prince on one of the balconies. Did you spot him already? This place is quite popular. If you continue walking to the right, you can also spot this fresco with lion. This one is a bit hidden. From one hunt to another, the next step was to find some Lyon troubles. Most of the buildings in Lyon have these secret covered passageways that go through the buildings. But since people are living in those buildings, it would not be kind to enter. Therefore, I was looking for one that welcomed visitors. Through the city streets, we arrived at the St. Jean Cathedral, located at the heart of the old town. It was found by the first two bishops of Lyon and was built on the ruins of 6th century church. The construction began in the 12th century and only was completed in 15th century. When you leave the cathedral, you can see the beautiful Notre Dame of the Fourvier Hill. It was around 2 o'clock and I was hungry, but I did not know that the restaurants in Lyon close at 2 o'clock and only open after 7. Luckily, I got enough energy from the beauty of the city and the sunny weather to hop on the funicular to go up to the Notre Dame. The Basilica of Notre Dame de Fourvier is way younger than the Cathedral saint jean It was built in the 19th century. For Vier Hill is dedicated to Virgin Mary, whom the people believe saved them from the bubonic plague that killed millions in Europe in the 17th century and many other plagues. Therefore, each year on December 8, they celebrated by lighting candles through the city to thank her for saving the city and its people. On the walls of Basilica, you can observe mosaic arts that show different historical scenes from Christian and French history. The Notre Dame can be seen from many points of the city and it also has a beautiful view.
We walked through the rose garden and stopped to enjoy the view of Lyon at every opportunity. Our next stop is the ruins of ancient Roman civilization in Lyon. Lyon was a Roman capital in Gaul and was called Lugdunum. It was found in 43 BC and had a population of a few thousands people. The most visible things left from the ancient city is the ancient theater. Its construction started in 15 BC and can host around 10,000 people. Today, it's still used for various events and festivals. I was super grateful to find the cherry tree in the middle of the ancient city since I missed the lunchtime. Our last historical stop at Lyon is Place Balakur. It's one of the largest squares in Europe. Over the centuries, this place had been a vineyard, an abandoned vineyard that became swampy, soldier base for attackers of Lyon, and many other things. In the 18th century, Louis XIV obtained ownership and turned it into a square, and his statue was placed in the middle of it. In the late afternoon, we did some shopping in the streets of Lyon and enjoyed the beautiful architecture of the random buildings. I love to look around while walking in a new city. There is always an unexpected art waiting on the corner of some building. I found this cute French restaurant to have dinner. We ordered classic French cuisine on the menu for the day. Usually I find French cuisine quite heavy, but with such an adventurous day, it was just on point. I enjoyed Lyon a lot and would love to see it in other seasons as well. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel, not to miss the coming vlogs. Goodbye for now!